So again, Bitcoin, $27,137. But I want to talk about the monthly close. I want to talk about September's monthly close. For the first time since 2016, Bitcoin was positive in September. Again, I want to make sure that we are very clear on this. For the first time since 2016, Bitcoin was positive in September. If you watched many of my recent updates, especially this week, we were talking about, are we going to see a drop in the price of Bitcoin as we close September? All right, we talked about that. And if you look at many of my recent content, and I want to make sure that I'm very clear on what was happening, what we were talking about. If you look at many of my recent updates, right, we were talking about a potential crash sometimes this week or uh, this last you know, couple of days before the monthly close yesterday. And for the first time since 2016, September, Bitcoin was positive. So the reason we were talking about a potential drop in the price of Bitcoin as we head towards, you know, the last hours of September was because historically, September is bearish. And if you look at the average of the last couple of years, it is anywhere between you know, three to seven percent. So now that we have a positive September, you know, I want to talk about what these last couple months could potentially look like. I want to make sure that I'm very clear. We are not predicting what Bitcoin is going to do. What we are doing right here is Looking at past performance, you know, even though past performance is not an in, uh, you know, doesn't really promise that in the future, you know, Bitcoin is going to do the same thing. But looking at past data, you know, what is Bitcoin more likely going to do? Again, even though, you know, Bitcoin could potentially pivot just like September for the first time since 2016. You know, Bitcoin is positive in September, but even though we could potentially pivot, you know, looking at historical performance, what is Bitcoin more likely to do in October, November, and December? So I want to make sure that we talk about that. And looking at the data right here, you know, historically, Bitcoin is bullish in October. So you look at the performance of Bitcoin, you know, the last couple of Octobers in 2022, Bitcoin was up more than 5%. In 2021, Bitcoin was up very close to 40%. And I want to make sure that I'm very clear, you know, despite 2022 being a bear market, Bitcoin was actually positive in October in 2020, in 2020. Bitcoin was up 27% in October. In 2019, right? 2019, very similar to 2023, uh, Bitcoin was up, you know, 10%. In 2018, so the last time Bitcoin was negative in October was 2018. Uh, 2018, we were in a, you know, we were in a bear market. Uh, you look at 2017, you know, a bull market, Bitcoin was up very close to 48%. Uh, 2016 was another bull market. Bitcoin was up very close to 15%. 2015, 2015 was a bear market. Uh, excuse me, not a bear market. 2015 was very similar to 2023. So 2015 was the year prior to the Bitcoin halving. Uh, Bitcoin was up, you know, um, 14%. Was that 2015? I want to make sure that I'm very clear. This is 2013, 14, 15. Uh, no, 2015, Bitcoin was up, you know, very close to 34%. Uh, 2014, 2014 was a Bitcoin bear market. Bitcoin was down 12%. 2013, a bull market. Bitcoin was up 60%. So based on 
you know, this right here, based on this data, since 2013, Bitcoin has only been negative in October two years. And that was in, 25, in 2014, uh, a crypto bear market. And that was also in 2018, another crypto bear market. So based on this data right here, you know, we can assume the Bitcoin is more likely to be positive in October, even though, again, even though it doesn't have to, all right, past performance is not an indicative of, you know, future results. So even though Bitcoin doesn't have to be positive in October, more likely we are going to see a positive October. But again, I want to make sure that I'm very clear on this. Bitcoin can potentially pivot. It doesn't have to be positive in October. Just like since 2013, uh, just like since 2013, you know, Bitcoin has been you know positive in October majority of the time. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin is going to continue to be positive in October. We could potentially pivot and we could potentially get a negative October in 20. 23. Now, something that I want to say that is actually going to support, you know, a case where Bitcoin is negative in October is what Bitcoin, what the performance of Bitcoin tends to be the year prior to the Bitcoin halving. The year prior to the Bitcoin halving, we tend to be positive for six to seven months, all right, plus or minus. It could be, you know, positive for more than six months, or it could also be negative for less than six months, all right? And we also tend to be negative for six or seven months, or less than six months, so five months. So when you look at the performance, uh, when you look at the performance of Bitcoin in 2023, all right, so far, I want to show you how many months Bitcoin has been positive in 2023. We were positive in January, that's one. Positive in February, that's two. Positive in March, that's three. Positive in April, that's four. Positive in June, that's five. Positive in September, that is month number six. So, so far... For half of 2023, Bitcoin has been positive. So because historically, Bitcoin tends to be, you know, positive for half of the year and positive and negative for the other half of the year, you know, one can assume that October, November, and December are going to be negative. All right. But. If we get seven months of positive performance, then in these last three months, you know, one of these months is going to be positive. So it could be October, it could be November, or it could be December. You know, the beauty of something like this is that nobody has, you know, a crystal ball on what the price is actually going to do. And, excuse me, and what Bitcoin, at where Bitcoin is actually going to close in any of these months, all right? So if anybody's telling you that this is exactly what Bitcoin is going to do, then, you know, they're only fooling themselves. We are all speculators, you know, at the end of the day, you know, nobody knows exactly what Bitcoin is going to do.